Welcome back, fellow gamers. It's story time again. <laughs> and I want to talk to you about the time that I cashed out of Magic the Gathering. Hopefully it's a cautionary tale in case you might be considering it. And I'll tell you how I did it. And what I thought about it at the time. And what I thought about it when I got back into Magic. So, the reason I got out of Magic the Gathering, this is like maybe about three or four years ago, is I was feeling burnt out from the game. I felt that I was just playing it too much and I wasn't even playing it competitively I was just was playing like almost every day with different different play groups mostly the same group of friends that I currently play with but it was like that's all we were doing we were always getting together we weren't going out to eat anymore we weren't going to the movies uh, we weren't playing board games either it was just always magic the gathering 24 7 with them and we had fun but then it started to be almost like a chore like okay this deck didn't didn't play well, so I'm gonna have to now readjust it. I'm gonna have to spend some more money. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this, and then it was like, okay, now I've got to bring my decks, got to lug them home, and it it became a chore, to to be frank. <laughs> and I talked to my friends about it, and I'm like, look, guys, I'm I'm thinking of, of stopping to play Magic, and they're like, thank God somebody brought it up. Everybody was thinking the same thing. So we liquidated our cards. We're like, okay, we're not gonna play anymore, and that's that's the end of that. I sold my cards in a mix of on Craigslist, and then to a local gaming store, and then I went back again to Craigslist with a severe discount on my cards just to get rid of them, and I managed to liquidate any card with importance except for one of the cards that I had really liked was uh, Rafik of the Many. It was one of my favorite commanders. So I kept him. <laughs> and I was, you know, just went like that. At the time, I was like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm getting a lot of money for, for cardboard and paper, and I, it's stupid that I would do this. So, like, that I would, I would keep all this card, all this money tied up in these cards if I wasn't going to play the game. Not only that, I needed some money for school. I was, I was going back to university at the time and books, tuition, everything was pretty expensive. So that kind of paid for that and I was happy about that. But like a month later, I started to get the itch to play Magic again, but I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll just play like Magic Duels. So I started playing Magic Duels online and that, that really didn't help. <laughs> it didn't scratch it because it's not really Magic. Like you're not putting your own stamp on it. I let it go. I was like, I was then now concentrating in school and a few more months went by and then I talked to my friends and I was like, I really feel like playing Magic the Gathering. And sure enough, they all felt the same way. So we're like, oh damn, like, okay, let's let's start with just buying one deck and keep it super casual. We'll, we'll start from there. We went ahead, bought our deck and the amount of money that we spent on our decks, like we pretty much bought back all the cards that we had already sold. And I don't remember the exact numbers that I sold my cards for, but I did <laughs> I did remember that I bought each and every card back higher than what I sold it for. And that's mainly from, you know, the first round of Craigslist, I got fair value for a lot of my cards. I think I sold them pretty much 80% of value for what Star City Games was going for at the time. Uh, when I sold the, uh, the game store, it was 40% what they were going for. Anything that I'm buying retail, except I think for the first wave of cards, was, you know, bought back at an increased rate. So I spent more money. And <laughs> I was like, oh man, this is, yeah, like, this is one deck, I can deal with it. But then, you know what it is, like, magic, you build one deck, you want to build another deck. <laughs> And I ended up buying up pretty much my whole collection again. And I probably spent like an extra... I, I definitely... I, I spent an extra few dollars per card on each card. And sometimes more. Um, it was, you know... Magic was... Like all the cards were spiking at that point. One card I, I know particularly... So Progenitus was a card that I had. And I, I mentioned it in one of my other story times. And I sold that card, I think, for like $8. And when I bought them back, I bought them back for thirty dollars. Um, there's a lot from the the Alara block, particularly that that was affected greatly, I, just because I think of, of Commander really starting to take off. 
uh, I bought back a lot of those legendaries uh, that were then at an inflated price. I got another one was uh, Thrax of Mundar. I think I, I sold them at a dollar or two dollars, bought them back at like eight or nine. Um, those are the ones that really stuck out at me. So individually, they don't make that much of an impact. But when you start buying all your cards back at, at that type of rate, it makes a huge difference. And I think the moral of the story here is if you are burnt out with magic or you're just not feeling it anymore, don't sell your cards. Don't sell your cards because you're more likely going to get back into the game. A lot of people have cycles. Uh, whether it's, you know, you're out of the game for three months, a year, five years, generally you come back to the game. It's it's a rich and inviting game. And yeah, we do get burnt out. Like I, I, I burnt out another time on Magic after that, but I kept my cards. And I was happy I did because like I jumped back into Magic soon thereafter. It's, I think one of the issues with burning out is that you're just, you're too focused on Magic. So you need to take a break. And, and hopefully this channel helps with that. You know, I'm trying to expose, uh, whether you're a Magic the Gathering player, I'm trying to expose you to to board games, to video games, to maybe um, phone games, and vice versa. If you're a board game player, there's Magic, there's video games, and then obviously video games, it's board and Magic. So, try something else. Don't sell your cards. I mean, if you need the cash, like, yeah, like, sell the cards. Like, for school, like, that was, that was what I needed to do. I... I only regret it because I could have sold other stuff instead of my Magic the Gathering cards. But because I thought that I was going to be playing Magic the Gathering, it was an easy... It was low-hanging fruit is what it was. And going from there, looking at, at what I could have sold that pretty much doesn't have value anymore. Like, it's the route I should have gone. But it, if Magic cards are, are, you know, what will help you achieve financial uh, financial equilibrium... Where you're able to then sustain a healthy lifestyle, go for it. Like that's more important than than a, a trading card game. But if you've got the disposable income, you've got other areas where you can move product. Uh, product being, you know, your your stuff. Go that route because you will come back to Magic the Gathering. I can almost guarantee it. Um, and if at worst, don't sell all your cards. Sell the cards that you don't use in decks that might have some value. Anyways, that's my that's my story about why I got out of Magic the Gathering, how long I was out, how I got out exactly, and when I came back in and what my thoughts were. <laughs> I hope the video was useful to you. I hope it was somewhat relevant. And if you're going through that, like stick it, stick it out, stick it out. <laughs> but here, indulge yourself in some other videos. So there's some more Magic the Gathering videos right here. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, you can also do that right here. Uh, and that helps you know when we go live or when we post new videos. Uh, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch me and make me a part of your day. And I want to say until next time, good gaming.